What up, guys? It's Cret, and today I'm here to actually ask for your help. Um, I'm in the process of iterating on my spreadsheets, and I eventually came to a point where I can't get some data because nobody really has it. Uh, there, there's some instances where it's available, some instances where it's not, and, and what that data is, it's actually the durations of abilities in Smite. And so, um, I'm hoping that you guys can help me collect that data. So I'm going to show you uh, what I mean, and I'm going to show you how you can how you can help me collect that data. So what we're looking for is we're looking for how long after I cast an ability I can auto attack. I've got my handy little stopwatch here on my phone, and let's try it with one. Now I'm on. I'm actually going to switch to uh, normal cast for this. I don't know if I get to switch back, and I'm totally going to die in a game later this week. So. This is normal cast. I'm going to click and then I'm looking for how long it takes me to auto attack. So I'm just going to click and start and then. That's really quick. That looks like it was about half a second. And so now I'm going to go to my little, my little sheet here. I'm doing Thor. And. 0.57. Cool. That's that. We can reset the stopwatch now, and let's do the second ability. All right, click. I did that too fast on my stopwatch. This is pretty hard, and that's why I want your help, right? I would have to run multiple tests myself on each god to make sure, so. All right, that looked like more like 0.66. I think that's good, let's record that. Um, okay, ability three. This is probably gonna be two. Uh, because the game says it's two, right here, duration two seconds, but let's just test it. Yeah, about two. I got 2.28, but that's fine. We'll just put that down there. Remember that humans are inaccurate, so this is going to take a lot of data, guys. And that's why I really, really need your help. And then, uh, the ultimate, Thor's ultimate doesn't really work like these other abilities, right? So, let's, uh, let's try that again. Or, let's, uh, I'll show you what I mean. What, so, for the ultimate here, um, it's really, what I'm looking for is the startup time. So, it looks like that was about 3.34 from the uh, point where I got to charge up to the point where I did it. And so that's one set of data for Thor. I click submit and it says, thank you for recording your data. Would you like to record more? Submit or another response. Now, in order to really make this work, I'm gonna need a lot of data for each god. I'm gonna need a lot of input. So if you guys wanna help out, I'd really appreciate it. Once I feel like I have enough data for one god, I guess I'll be like disabling them on the form or something. Um, but, you know, like, I want responses from 10, 20 people on Thor, 20 different tries to really get this data so we can average it out and see what seems to be right. And then this data will allow us to go into spreadsheets and ask uh, big questions. Thor, it's pretty obvious, but uh, hunters, right? A lot of hunters have this line nuke, like Apollo's 1 is uh, so beautiful, or on hers 2 is impale. And when you're late game, when you're a hyper carry and you're hitting really hard, you might have the question... At what point should I not use my nuke? At what point should I not use So Beautiful? Should I not use Spirit Arrow? Should I not use Impale? Or, or at least be more careful about using them if they do offer that crowd control. So that's the question I'm looking to answer. I'm also looking to answer things like, how long does Thor's combo take, right? So I land, and then, I don't know. I did that wrong because I'm used to instant cast. But you see my point. So I hope you guys can help me out on this. The form is linked down below. And uh, I'm going to be recording data from it. Really would appreciate the help. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you next time.